still can't get my head around it. It's everything we've been through with her. She just goes down there and confesses to the whole lot. Well, oh, must have got you off the hook anyway. I swear, I've never been so relieved. Well, it's the first time she's done the right thing in her life, isn't it? Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. And I want me to work. Ever think there's absolutely nothing in the entire world that you're actually any good at? Ali and Ruby are just happy you've agreed to do a blessing. Mm. Just wish I could do more. Well, you can't. If the bishop finds out about the blessing, you're in even more trouble. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, no, you forgot this came for you. Huh? Christmas card, woman's writing. Key, you know, whoever it is, I haven't even started mine. Carol? I thought we'd heard the last of her. Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. Never like that word in a card. Like it's the most important thing we could wish each other. A divorce has come through. Really? Always nice when they put some news in. I'll go and get myself a coffee. Oh, dull, dull, dull! <laughs> come to me for inspiration. Not a fluent sedative. Dad, do you have to do this here? It won't be long. Kids safely delivered. Laurel? I'm busy. Well, I can do that. Ah, excuse me. Here again. It may be coming up to Christmas, but that's no excuse to start slacking off in the garden. There's plenty. Oh, oh, oh not Leave it, I'll do it. Oh, got it. I'll got do it. it. Out the way, please, all right? Sorry. What's going to you this morning? Oh, I'm just feeling a bit under the weather. I'll go somewhere else then. Take it out on your dad. Blame me. Yeah, I do. Why don't we both just take the day off and talk this I'm through? I'm busy. OK, if you want a cosy chat, why don't you invite your friend Ross around again? I don't want us to be like this. Yeah, well, we are, aren't we? This is what we're like. Go to work. So why aren't you going in, then? Look. If your mum says that you don't have to go, cos she's going to buy you loads of new stuff, you're not going to argue, are you? Right, Noah, come on, darling, let's get going. But it's nearly finished. Yeah, we can watch you on catch-up. Come on, we need to get going. You OK? Yeah, I'm great, thanks. And they don't mind you keeping him off, then? Well, probably we'll just do something educational. Like what? Pub, then strip join. I thought we were going to the shop. Well, that's if they're still open by the time we get there. You want to fancy a brew before we head out? No, doesn't no. Right, come on, mother and son time. Here we come. <laughs> now, that is weird. She usually can't wait to get rid of him. So, where are you off to, then? Uh, got a few things to see to. Nothing to do with Kieran, I hope. Did ask you to drop that. Yes. Yes, you did. Uh, How long have you been sat there? Oh, Kieran, we're fine. You and Moira, you wrecked your friendship for me. Might be able to salvage something. We'll see. Look, I was a complete idiot. All right, I know that. I always thought I'd be calm in a crisis, but I panicked. I lost it, and I'm so, so sorry. I know. Hey. All right, Jensen Button. Talk of the town, innit? Yeah. Thank you, Layla. No, nah, I'm just having a joke. No, to go on Mother Hen on me. I'm sure he can stick up for himself. Great, well, that's really useful, Layla. Why don't I remind you of all your mistakes, eh? Ooh, where to start? Second rate lap dancer. Oh. I was a pole dancer who slept with a best mate's ex. Not to mention knocking off some bloke who's, hey, guess what? Already taken. Oh, that's pretty bad. I'm sorry, what has this got to do with anything? It's got everything to do with you minding your own business and not rubbing his nose in it. I was just having a joke, but I won't bother next time. No, don't. Will you just sign it? Oh, without looking through it properly? You must be kidding. Would you like me to read out the longer words for you? Are you still paying for the refurb? I was we're tight with him, aren't Look, are you or not? If that's what Lawrence agreed, then yeah. Well, what he agreed was the rent being a third of what you've got here. Well, three times a pittance is still a good rate. Oh, at least they find another tenant if you don't want it. 
Uh, we both know he only offered you that price to try and stitch me up. Yeah, because he wanted rid of you. Well, oh, because you always were scared I was going to nick Katie off you. Don't worry, I've moved on. I mean, who'd want someone all needy like her? What, like she'd want you? Oh, come on, Andy. Bloke your age, no place of his own, dependent on any scraps that might come your way. Given half a chance, who do you think she'd go for? I know exactly who you should choose. Yeah, like she did last time. That's enough! What's the matter with you two now? I was just making a joke and Andy took it serious. Oh, of course you were. Well, I'm sorry, Andy, if you can't take a bit of banter. Look, you're being all nice now, Diane's here. Oh, I've had enough of the pair of you. I'll break in an hour. We're sorting this out today. Morning. Dad? Oh. I've got this for your lunch. Oh. Rain and tomato. Soak up the meanest thing over that one. <laughs> but I haven't got one. No? I've got to get on that. I just wanted a quick word with you. Without Marlon and the kids around. Just see how you're doing. Yeah, all good. Great. You seemed a bit upset this morning. Did I? Oh, come on, Laurel. If you can't talk to me... But I'm just angry with him. Well, I can see that. You two haven't been great since I came back. After what happened with Ross and... I know. To come home and see him sitting there like my old friend, you know? He was there for April. It's not just Marlon putting her first. I'm used to that. It's him saying that he just doesn't really think about me, about my feelings, about what I'm afraid of. Yeah, you're right. You've been needing a good solicitor, then. Well, well, if you've tried everything else, splitting up seems the only option to me. That's not what I want, though. Well, the only way to get through these things is by facing them together. Like you and Mum. Exactly. Sorry. You and Marlon, you're a very special couple, but you're in grave danger of messing it all up. No. Oh. Well, that's a start. What do we do? Well, you stop fretting about everything that's wrong between you and start focusing on what's right. You'd be amazed to see how much is. Hey, Miss Debian. I oh, should have got it. Listen, um, do you know what's going on with Charity? She's acting a bit weird. She's, uh, popped herself into the police. She... Why has she done that? Detective Bales. He was determined to get her on something. He had a real vendetta against the batter into a corner. But mainly, I think she did it for Debbie. And what about Noah? What's going to happen to him when she's banged up inside, eh? Oh, hi! Oh, am I early? No, no. Perfect time, babe. You okay? You've yeah. been crying. Just a uh, spot of hay fever. It's the middle of the winter. All right, then, it's an allergy. To? Home truths. Ah, the worst. I've just been called a lap dancing joke by my mate. You know, the bat, blonde one. Well, she's clearly jealous. <laughs> hey. Ah, uh, here she is, bright to be. So I've got all my mood books. So, uh, Let's plan a wedding. I thought our appointment was with Megan. Yeah, unfortunately, she was called away, but she's left you in my capable hands. Maybe we should do this tomorrow. He's got his suit fitting, Annie, tomorrow. Take a seat. Let's talk flowers. Tell me. What are your thoughts? Well, we don't want to go mad. On our wedding day, best day of our lives, we're not scrimping on a thing. You do, right. And with any luck, you're going to be in the 40% of people that don't have to do all this again. <laughs> right. Oh, thought I'd fight with Noah. Yeah, something came up. Is he here? It's upstairs. Pete told you confessed. Yep. Why? Because, believe it or not, I'm still capable of doing the right thing. Couldn't let Debs lose Pete. I've put him through enough. You should have told me. Why? So what's this, uh, Bales fella got on you, then? It doesn't matter. Come on, you know, I'm gonna find out. 
Back when I was working, he sort of got a bit obsessed with me. Let's just say he didn't handle a rejection too well. You never said. Well, I just tried to forget all about it, didn't I? But now, for one reason or another, he has decided he wants to make my life a misery. So you just gave up, you let him win? Well, he has won, because I got called into the station earlier. Poor little Noah sat there waiting while I'm being charged. Insurance fraud and perverting the course of justice. Well, you're not on your own anymore. I can fight this with you. I'm going to be on my own inside, though, aren't I? And knowing Bales, he'll make my life a living hell in there. <sighs> this is it, Kane. There's no way out of this one. I'm done. Oh, I was thinking he might not show up. Hoping. Well, it was this or choosing the font for the wedding invites. We're flattered. I'm not really sure what the point is. Right. I'll tell you then, shall I? At Sarah's memorial, there was a glimmer of hope that you two might move past all this. Victoria was over the moon, so for her sake, if not for your own, we're going to sit down, eat up and be civilised like a proper family. So now I just want to spend as much time with Noah as I can, you know? Come on, I'll take us all out for lunch, eh? If you don't mind, I'd rather just hang out here with Noah. Hey. All right? Look, I, uh, I don't think I thank you properly for yesterday. You just have. I know what it means. I'm really grateful. She got charged today. Yeah, I wish they'd have called me in sooner, though. I would have saved me hundreds of pounds on new gear for Noah. <laughs> Is he all right? Yeah, he's a bit annoyed he didn't get his PS4. But I didn't give the real reason why we were at the station. My days are numbered with him now, aren't they? So what the hell's gonna happen to him if you get sent down? Not a matter of if, Debs, it's when. Uh, Lisa and Zach said they'd have him, and he loves it there, so... Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you and Noah come to mine for your tea tonight? And you, if you want. Thanks, Debs. I'd love that. Maybe the three of us should socialise a bit more. Go into town together, go clubbing. Do it on Friday if you want. Yeah, sounds great. Although Robert would probably agree. And then change all the details last minute. So you're just expecting us to give you the farm? <laughs> Poor Kate, you're marrying such a massive skin flint. What have I said about you two getting on? I'm strictly neutral between you boys, as you well know. I'd never take sides, but this needs to be out in the open. Neutral? Do me a favour. He's been the golden boy since day one. It's been the same story all our lives. That's not fair. You're both getting married soon. If this isn't the time to grow up and put your differences behind you, I don't know when will be. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise you were in here. Oh, it's all right, Aaron. Come in. There's plenty of food. Get yourself a plate. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't want to intrude it being a family meal and all. Spot of on cooking would be great, actually. That's all right. It's a nice thought down, but it's not really working, is it? I've got a wedding to organise. All right. Thanks for a lovely meal. Robert! So, you've been living together for a while now. How's it working for you? Fine. Yeah? Any uh, developments between you? I don't really think she sees me that way, to be honest. <sighs> Have you asked her? Because like I told you, I, th I think she does. No. <sighs> Ashley, you're hardly a man of impulse, are you? It's not like there's anybody else on the horizon. I had a car from Carol this morning, if you must know. Yeah. Run for the hills! <laughs> it's a sweet card, but I doubt I'll be getting in touch. You know what? Hmm? That card might be a blessing in disguise. Divine intervention, some might say. Use it. Use that card to test the waters. In what way? Oh, with Harriet. Make it seem that you're still keen on Carol. Yeah? See how she reacts. If she gets jealous, there's your answer. Why not? Because that's cheap, manipulative and underhand, and I'm going to forget that you ever said it. But it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. 
I, I, I was thinking about that card I got from Carol. She was hinting at us giving us another go. Right. Christmas is always the worst time to be alone. It's for families and couples. It'd be nice to have that special someone to buy a present for. And then, of course, there's God's take on adultery. I told you, they're divorced. Well, if you like women who are as mad as a box of frogs, then that's entirely up to you. Harriet? I remember there's something I need to do. You can have my coffee. Eh? Hey? So, are we OK now? Yeah, we're good. Is there any hope of you and Moira? Just needs a bit of time. I reckon she'll come round. I'll get us another. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm so unbelievably sorry for everything. I really am. Well, now you have. So I'll leave you to it. You're not finding it easy, are you? What? Not battering the hell out of him. Thought I hadn't crossed my mind. Nah, he's just a stupid kid. I know. But if it makes you feel any better... What? If he ever leaves me for dead again, you can do whatever you like with him. Sorry for crashing your dinner. It wasn't exactly going well before you arrived. I was white a brother until I met you two. Listen, um, I'm gonna go to town later for a beer. Yeah? Join me if you want. You what? You know, just a drink. But why on earth would I want to go anywhere with you? Suit yourself, then. My lunch, it's fine. Any more, you won't be able to see the food. Hey. What's up? Um. Dad came to see me at work. He's worried about us. So am I. My I'm not just with you because of the kids. I love you. I love you. You're my whole world. How did we get here? I don't know. Me neither. You know, we can do anything if, if we do it together, and... We've done everything for April. You've been amazing, but we're struggling. You can see that, can't you? I just want to give her a home. Yeah, but none of us are happy. You've put everything on hold except for her. I mean, I understand why, but I just... I just don't think it's the right thing for her or for us. She doesn't need Ross Bolton. She needs a professional counsellor. That's not what she wants. Yeah, but she's five years old. She doesn't get to choose what is best for her. Oh, but I... this way isn't working, is it? I mean, it's been months. Nothing's changed. She can't talk to us about how she's feeling. What chance has she got with a complete stranger? Yeah, but a stranger who is... Who's trained to deal with grieving children, who's not sleep deprived or whose relationship isn't in trouble because they haven't got the energy to do anything else. Please, Mom, please. For us, let's give this a try. Can I do for you? you know, we both know I'm going to catch up with Kieran for what he did. 
I thought that. I promised more I wouldn't. Well, I lied. I haven't finished with him. And if you care about your son, there's something you're going to do for me. What is it? <laughs> Charity's been stupid and confessed to something she didn't do. I don't see where. You're a liar. You get her off, it's as simple as that. And I promise, Kieran will stay safe. Look, I'm a corporate lawyer. I haven't done criminal law for years. Then you've got a bit of brushing up to do, haven't you? What's she done? A fire at home farm, she didn't start it. And the insurance scam wasn't her idea. But she's said enough to get her into trouble. Then? Then you get her off, because if you don't, Kevin's life's not going to be worth living. Do we have a deal? With the key to the factory in her pocket and bent on revenge, Tracy has a plan. An hour-long episode of Curry starts next. Then from the cobbles to the Aussie outback, who'll be the next to leave camp? I'm a celebrity, here at 8.30. Thank you.